Hi there, welcome back to MTurk Guide. It's December 13th of 2016 and I haven't posted videos in a couple of weeks. Um, the reason being uh, just been busy with uh, MTurk in general, so a few other projects I'm working on, the holidays are coming up, and then um, my, my immediate family, we have two birthdays within like five days of each other. So it's been a little bit crazy. But I wanted to hop on and do a quick video on a really important topic that uh, has been asked of me numerous times and frankly, I can't really um, answer it in full in a comment in, on YouTube or on Facebook. So I wanted to do a video dedicated to it. Probably won't be too long. But what the topic is, is master's qualification. Um, I'll give you the facts and then some of my opinion. And my opinion is just that, my opinion. Um, just my observations for the time that I've been turking and my, you know, my thoughts from talking to others. And then obviously some facts about it. Um, I think a lot of people have heard of master's qualification based on the fact that I'm asked about it quite often. Um, so this is my, my, I got jokes and facts for you. So the people who have masters say, I totally deserve masters, I'm the best. And the workers who don't have masters say, I totally deserve masters, I'm the best. So uh, the bottom line is that those that have it, you know, think they think they deserve it. And those that don't have it also think they deserve it. Um, but you know, what is it? And how Amazon advertises it to the requesters is the first blurb you see here where it says who are Amazon's Mechanical Turk Masters. Um, and what they say is they have a technology which analyzes the worker's performance, identifies high performing workers, monitors our performance over time, and then those that have demonstrated excellence across a wide range of hits are awarded the qualification. And then the people who are awarded the qualification have to maintain the same level statistically of what you know uh, what they were chosen they have to maintain that level uh to to keep the qualification um the the level we we don't know what that level is we'll talk a little bit more about that but that's how they advertise it to the requester and they charge a premium on a you know per hit basis you know there's a premium percentage increase for the requester to have their hits done by masters called uh, workers. I think if I recall, I think it's 5% or the, the amount, but it could be more. Um, but yeah, so so that's how they advertise it to the requester in, in an uh, attempt to get the requester to spend more money on the hits. Now, you know, we, we've talked a little bit about this, but requesters have the ability to sort of do this on their own through through calls, you know, through testing people for their specific hit and then creating calls and giving out those calls and monitoring their own workforce, you know, via that vehicle. But if they, they don't want to do that and go through the, the bother of you know, having to create a test and then grade them and vet, you know, the workers and then in they maintain uh, sort of a, you know, a standard and then make sure that all the workers are working to that standard. Um, if they don't want to do all that, then they can default to the, to the master's qualification. So like anything, it's kind of a, a risk versus reward and then how much your t is your time worth type scenario. So when MTARC is talking to us, as workers, <clears throat> the way they position it is that masters are an elite group of workers with uh, demonstrated accuracy on specific type of hits in the marketplace. Um, this distinction can be achieved by consistently completing hits of a certain type with a high degree of accuracy across a variety of requesters. Masters must continue to maintain that uh, statistical monitoring uh, of that level to remain in the program. And uh, they, masters will receive access to work that requires the qual and then access to a private forum. Um, 
good note, workers cannot apply for this status, regardless of the fact that you can actually request it when you're, and you'll see that when you know that you can't do something because you're not a master, um, you, you can't apply for it. They won't, they won't give it to you just based on that. So, um, and they say the best thing you can do to become a master is submit assignments with accurate results across a wide variety of requesters on Mechanical Turk Marketplace. Um, I would say that uh, what's a little interesting, I think, is that the 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 worker blurb, if you will, on the bottom, I think is actually a little bit outdated because just for history's sake, for those that haven't been on MTurk for a while, there used to be quals and I think they were like category quals or they were going down that road. I'm not 100% sure, but they they were going down the road of having a master's ca like category qual so you know masters um maybe i'm not saying this was it but masters transcription let's say masters categorization masters research it, and those are just examples but that's where they were headed and you can see that that kind of thinking is in the direction to the worker of saying um completing a certain type of hit with a high degree of accuracy where the advertising to the requester is a little bit more broad where they're, they're saying that um, we've done workers have demonstrated excellence across, across a wide range of hits, which would to me indicate that, you know, you'd want to be outside um, a certain category if you're comfortable moving out from that category. Right. So like if you're comfortable with transcription, you know, moving out of that comfort zone to categorization or research, you know, I think is a good move in, in the quest for masters. Um, but you can see, I don't know if that diff, that slight difference is just a matter of a lack of updating in the worker description. Obviously the, the requester description is a priority because it generates more revenue for them. Uh, I don't know if that's the case, but I do feel personally, and this is where my opinion comes in, that, that worker blurb is not necessarily updated. Now, do I know for sure that if you do, you know, a wide range that you will absolutely get master's qualification? Nope, I don't know that for sure. So, but this is how it's advertised by Amazon to two different groups of people. For the most part, you know, I think it, it aligns. There's a little bit of discrepancy. And to me, I think it's just a timing issue. But would love to hear other people's thoughts on that, especially people who maybe have been around, you know, longer for, for more of that um, categorization, you know, just for the history sake, again, they were going towards the categorization. I think they assigned them, then they rolled it up into just a singular master's qualification. And now that's the qual, you know, everybody who has masters has masters, and that's the one qual that the requesters can add to access that pool of workers. And there's no you know, underneath that, there's no additional categories to the master's qualification. But at a point in time, they were headed that way. So my thoughts on it. Um, well, the first bullet is actually a fact. The last time master's was handed out was in December of 2015. It was just about this time last year. There had been some um, some rumblings, if you will, among the MTAR community around June that they thought, people thought that they were gearing up to hand out the qualification again because the qualification tab in MTurk was getting cleaned up by Amazon. And some people said, oh, that's a trigger. They always give the master's qual out after they clean up the qualifications. It, I didn't hear of any massive give out of the, of the qual. Um, so take take that for what it's worth i'm not necessarily the most you know tuned in all the time but um i didn't hear of anything the last time i heard of a lot of people getting it was back at this time last year and um so what will happen when it does happen is you know people who you know, I talk to or, or interact with within the MTAR community, you know, they check their, e one of two things happens. They check their email and they've received an email that says, you know, dear uh, MTARC worker, congratulations, you're now masters, you know, let the party begin. They get that email and they're, woo, this is great. Uh, or they log on to the system and they go to do hits and all of a sudden, you know, their hits available to you is a much larger number. And when they go to investigate that, they find that they now have the master's qualification, you know, commence partying again. So uh, that's kind of the one of two ways. 
And, um, you know, from my observation, again, this is a fact, but, but my observation is the qualifications of the individuals who have received it and maintained the master's qualification to me appears to be extremely varied in disclaimer, because there are some, there's a few people out there that, that try to read into what I'm saying. I am not saying that anybody who has the master's qual doesn't deserve it. This is purely statistics. This is purely my observation. I have heard of people who have 300,000 hits with a 99.999% approval rating, not having masters. And I've heard of people with 12, 15,000 hits with again, a 99, very high, high approval rating, maybe even a hundred percent when you get into those lower numbers. And I've heard of them having the master's qual. So I've seen a wide variety of um, people who have the master's qual, how much work they have under their belt and their approval rating. And I get a little taste of, you know, what type of hits they do. I don't necessarily dig that far in. I think the, the general thing when somebody gets master's, oh my God, oh my goodness, how many you know hits have you done? What's your approval rating? Just kind of those are the general statistics that people seem to want to know immediately when someone announces that they received the qualification. Um, so that's, those are my data points. Uh, but again, I've seen people that, you know, on the outside looking in seem very deserving of the master qual based on the fact they've you know been working on MTurk for six years, have hundreds of thousands approved, great approval rating. You know, I can't speak for how their variety is, um, but you know, they don't have the qualification. Uh, even last year, just anecdotally, I can recall, you know, hearing of people who, you know, in January or February came online and said, hey, hey guys, I hadn't logged on to MTurk for six months uh, because of school, because of kids, because of I found another job, blah, blah, blah. And I just checked my email that's associated with that account and I found out I have masters. So I'm hopping on to you know, see what's what, see what's going on. She, I mean, that was the exception. I wouldn't say that was the rule by any stretch, but there were people who simply hadn't been working on the system who were invited, you know, to masters. So, you know, clearly as they state in the blurb, it's a it's statistical monitoring. It's, it's you know, automated and uh, the criteria that they put forth is um, proprietary, just like their approval process is proprietary. They don't tell you beyond what we read on the previous slide about how to get the qualification. They don't give you a, a path. They don't give you a roadmap. They don't give you anything besides the blurb that I that I showed you. That's what they give you. Um, and so uh, anybody that says they know definitively that Amazon is choosing people based on, you know, if they can give you the exact number, this, that, and the other, either they don't, uh, they don't actually know, and they're just thinking they know, which could be the case. You know, they may feel that they've looked at enough people who have masters and feel that they've, they feel the minimum is ten thousand and whatever. Um, you know, that's the only thing I can think of because I just simply. I think that if that information was readily available, then you know, frankly, everybody would have it, and that's what. Amazon trying to avoid by not handing out sort of the roadmap how to get there. Um, so, you know, as I said, to me, there doesn't appear to be much commonality in the workers who have received the qualification. Again, they're all very deserving. Uh, I have no issue with anybody who has masters, um, but I'm, I'm just not in a position to say that the, this is definitively what, you know, you need to have under your belt in order to, to get the qualification. Um, and as I said, it's, it's not abundantly clear from the data available to me what that path might be. Um, my advice is to complete various types of hits. And even though that goes against what <laughs> the worker description says, I, I personally do believe that it, that you know branching out and not siloing yourself into one type of hit is is good um, because frankly the masters hits vary there's nothing special about those hits except the fact that the you know the requester has chosen to have a specific pool this specific pool of workers work on this task you know even the profile tasks that i talk about in the profile task video doesn't necessarily get the requesters closer to this you know sort of elite pool of people 
that their Amazon is advertising this group as to the requesters. The profile tasks helps them get away from qualification tasks for um, gender and education and income and things like that. That's what the profile tasks do. The, the, the master's qualification simply you know, frankly, the requesters don't necessarily know what they're getting, right? Because the criteria is not disclosed. They just understand that this is a, a worker that has demonstrated, let's call it an above average level of work on a consistent basis, you know, across a, a, a varied type of hit. I mean, I think that's the best way I can say it. So, um, you know, complete uh, various types of hits, keep a high approval rating, you know, build your numbers, but always in a safe way. As I, I tell people, I know I, I say that a lot, but don't uh, go headlong into anything just for number's sake. Make sure that, you know, the TO rating supports, you know, going headlong into something and uh, avoiding blocks from requesters. I think we've talked a little bit about blocks versus quals and, you know, that requesters should really use quals and not blocks. And, and I acknowledge that blocks are given out um, unfairly and, and not from a place of education by some requesters. And sometimes getting them reversed uh, is not an easy task. So it's, you know, that's why, again, safely building your numbers is key because you don't want to find yourself in a position where a requester who's new didn't have a, you know, didn't have enough TO data blocks you and puts your account at risk. So um, definitely avoid getting blocked by any requesters and then, you know, work consistently. I know that my anomaly story before wouldn't necessarily say that that's a shoe in, you know, as people who hadn't been working off the qualification, but I certainly feel in, in my head that being active consistently on MTurk would would be a good thing in terms of uh, getting a, a master's qualification. So quickly, just to go through what the perks of the master's qualification is, and this is more fact, um, no CAPTCHAs. So I've talked about CAPTCHAs and, you know, the letters and numbers that you have to type in um, periodically. Usually it's about every 35 hits. Um, approximately, give or take. I'm not saying that's a definite, but it's around there. Every 35 hits, you have to fill in your CAPTCHA. And anybody who's gotten into the groove on a batch will know that that can totally throw you off. And if you're doing Zoltar, let's say, and you're, you're, you know, just going and going and going, then you've got to go into another screen and, you know, and you, or you had a CAPTCHA sitting there, you didn't know it. So it's no fun. And, uh, Again, anecdotally, earlier this year when the profile task came out, there was like a three week period, two to three week period where everybody or we assumed or I assumed other and others assumed that anybody who had done the profile task for whatever reason got um, got their CAPTCHAs were taken away for a good couple of weeks. And um, people then started doing the profile task to try to get rid of the CAPTCHAs and then at the and then slowly the captures started coming back for everybody so <clears throat> we all who aren't masters got a taste of having you know ca um having no captures and it's nice it's really nice <laughs> so uh that's a big one to me that's actually that's one of the the biggest just from a flow and a work perspective i'd love to not have you know i've done I mean, I've literally had done thousands of captures on mturk i mean i think they should know by now that i'm not a robot but anyways um you know, I, I'm a little torn on the capture piece just because I feel that people who are using automation to submit hits, you know, if they have the master's qual, then the capture doesn't necessarily slow them down. And that's my soapbox for another time that probably will see a couple little controversy. But either way, for the people who are doing the work and, and you know, in sitting down and doing the work, the captures are real. They really slow you down. And I don't think they necessarily do the job that captures are intended to do um, on a usual basis so but yeah that's the big one for me obviously the increased availability of work but just like anything with mturk on any given day you know masters could have nothing available you know feast or famine they could have nothing available they could have a ton available I, you know i don't i would hesitate to say that being a masters guarantees that you're going to have an abundance of work available to you every single day you know if it's very slow it's probably very slow for for masters too but you know the bottom line is that with more work opportunity is become comes more opportunity to make 
you know, an increased amount of money on the platform. So, you know, that is what it is. So it certainly opens the door, but it's, it's not the, it's not the solution to every slow time or, or anything. So I, I, I definitely don't feel that the masters don't have slow times. They, they certainly do. Um, but as you can see, I just wanted to put it for those that are more visual, just put it into um, here to show you, you'll see when you click on the title of a hit that you don't have access to, you can see why you don't have access to it. And you can see the qualifications required for this is a master's has been granted. I don't have that qualification. I could request it, but it won't do anything. And you'll see, although this is a new requester that I picked, um, doesn't have any TO data. She, she doesn't have any TO data. I think um, there are 5,506 of these at the time I took the screenshot, which was just about an hour ago, and they're at 30 cents a piece. Now, not being able to get too far into it, I don't know if it's any good or whatever, but it's, you know, obviously a good batch of 30 cent hits at 5,000 wouldn't last long in the non-masters world. So, so yeah, you know, the opportunity is definitely there. Uh, one thing I did want to address is there is a myth that floats around periodically a fallacy that masters have an unlimited or larger queue than other workers. So the queue is 25 hits that you can queue up and work out of your queue. Um, that is not true. I have verified it with multiple masters who say they do not have a larger queue. Their queue is also limited to 25. Um, I think at times somebody said it was 30, somebody who doesn't have masters was saying that it was 35. I personally believe that person may have been confused about the CAPTCHA, meaning, you know, the CAPTCHA goes away or something to that effect, I think, or they just misspoke. Um, and then some people were saying that the queue for masters was unlimited, which is not true. They they have limits as well. I've not only have masters told me that, I've, I've seen screenshots. So um, I tend to believe the people who are telling me that they um, they don't have a larger or unlimited queue, and then the dedicated forum that's advertised in the and the Amazon documentation, I think you know, was a, a thing when uh, Amazon first came out with MTurk and first started rolling out this idea of masters. But I I personally don't believe it's of huge value to the master's community. I'd, I'd love, again, would love to hear from people if if it is something that is, I, I just, I don't have an awareness because again, I, I'm not master's. So um, I would love to understand from folks if it's, uh, you know, if it, the forum is something that you consider a perk or not. Uh, so yeah, so that's the story on master's. So hopefully that answers everybody's question about uh, master's, if it doesn't, please feel free to leave a comment here on YouTube or on Facebook. Um, if you haven't come over and checked out the Facebook page, please do. Uh, we're trying to kick up some activity over there. There's a kind of a core group of, of folks that try to post hits for one another um, and you know just generally keep people updated on what's going on. Like if picks from above, for example, uh, puts another qualification up that you need. We try to post that and try to share information. So if you're, you know, if you're on Facebook, come on over. Um, I'll put the uh, link in the description of this video so you can link right on over and like the play page and uh, definitely say hi. Uh, as always, please, um, if you like the video, I'd love a like. Comments are always welcome and I try to answer every single one. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And I do promise I will be better about uh, posting videos in the near future. And as always, I love hearing from everybody. I love your feedback. I really appreciate everybody joining and happy turking.